Be good, brother. We got you back. The yeah. Lord works mysterious ways. I came up this morning, didn't expect to leave. I sat back there and I opened my Bible and it turned. I thought I was going to read about Jesus calming the storm. I got up here. The van said, I didn't want you to read. It wasn't a van. It was the Lord. He talked about the laborers and the harvest. We have a harvest. We got we got to be the workers. We got to step out. We got we to speak for the Lord. Absolutely. I just had to bring that up. <laughs> this book here, it's a manual. It's got instructions. It's got directions. Yeah. It's got requirements. Yeah. Right. It's got warnings. You want to tell us about things we should do? You want to tell us about things we shouldn't do? That's yeah. it. Um, Hebrews 12, 11 says, Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peace, the peaceable fruit of righteousness, unto them which are exercised thereby. Chastise, punishment, hearing something you may not want to hear, it's not going to feel good in the moment. I think today, uh, I may have to call us many to wear steel toes today. I got some things that have been put on my heart. Um, Adam and I have talked about it. Discernment, I think, is something that I have. I see things. I pay attention to things. Yeah. It's rough at times, but it's also things that I think that we need to know as a group. Yeah. People. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're going to have, we're going to get our toes stepped on. My toes have been stepped on. At the end, though, we're going to tell a good story. I promise <laughs> you about that. Amen. Amen. Yeah. There were some of the, um, as I turn here, I'm going to go to Romans. Chapter 1, I'm going to start in verse 18. I'm going to read a while. If you're not trained to preach, if you can't preach, the Word of God will preach for you. <laughs> for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation yeah, of the right. world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. I heard that word a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools yep. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image <coughs> made yeah. like to corruptible man. That's right. And to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and served the creature? more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. Even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust towards one another. Yeah. Men with men, working yeah. that which is unseemly, yeah. and receiving in themselves that re recompense of their error which was met. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind That's right. to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, Inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, so have pleasure in them that do them. Dear God, we just pray for this world. Dear God, we pray for those that are lost, those that don't know you, that don't know the peace be found only through your son Jesus. Dear God, we're thankful for everyone here. Dear God, we pray for open minds. Dear God, we just pray for those that are 
Listen in other places that you may touch their heart and draw them near to you. Yes. Our time draweth nigh. Dear God, we're looking and we're waiting. It's in your son's name we pray. So in this world, there's a lot of symbols. There's lots of things that we see we recognize. Yeah. We see a little check thing. Everybody would call out, that's Nike. We know what that is. We see other logos. We know what they are. Satan, <coughs> evil ones, they've got symbols that they use too. Mm-hmm. You guys might be surprised. You probably use them at the same time. True. Um, kind of what I've seen is that after the fall of Babel, you know, man had come together. They were working their way up. They were going to take over God. Yes, they were going right. to become God. That Absolutely. was their goal. Yep. And God destroyed it. So it tells me that they had a chance to do something. Like it was, it was big. God needed to destroy that. Absolutely. And afterwards, they couldn't communicate. Yeah. Yeah. So symbols became common. It may not have been the exact same thing. Some of these folks, the different tribes, they all would remember who they worshipped. Most of the time it was a father god, a mother god, a son of god. And it's all the background for all of pagan worship and what would be called Gentile worship in the the modern or kind of in God's age. There was a father god, a mother god, and a son of god. Well, we know that our god, there's no mother god involved there. (laughs) It's it's the, the, the... that type of trinity is is a nature type of trinity. It yeah, goes you're back right. to things yep. in nature. Yeah. It goes back to the creature, worshiping the creature more than the creator. That's right. Yeah. They yep. invented things to worship because they didn't want to worship and didn't know the true and living God. Right. Yeah. So some symbols that have come about that, again, are used by pagans to this day. For some reason, we've moved to where people don't recognize this as three. They want to do the okay symbol which is a symbolism of 666. Your fingers, all three of them, make a six. Just, yeah. There are things like this that are used to describe yeah. things in pagan world um, throughout the world. Something else that's become very common to use is we don't recognize this anymore. This is two, two fingers. But now we feel like we've got to put up our pointer and, and little finger, we've got to separate. We, because it makes it easier to see or something. It, it, I don't know what the background is, but um, some of you may call it it's, it's devil horns, or if you're not going to call them devil horns, they call them rock horns, or it's even been moved in the sign languages, I love them so. Um, I've kind of mentioned this guy before, Anton LaVey, leader of the Church of Satan, yeah. proudly announces that yeah. that is the sign of the curse. And the width of your fingers apart describes how broad of a curse you are casting on people. It, it, it's, it's crazy, the things that are happening. Yes, it is. Um, something else. Um, and a lot of this, or some of these things will go back to, to different kinds of music. I'm going to sound like an old man up here. Rock and roll and rap music. Um, things that happen. Um, we looked at Isaiah 54. Verse 4 it says, Against whom do ye sport ye selves? Against whom do ye make a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? They're describing the act of sticking out your tongue. Rolling Stones, their logo is the defiant sticking out of the tongue. It's, they call it the mocking tongue. Um, Miley Cyrus, back when she was all the rage for her, whatever that was, Super Bowl or whatever, where she was with the guy. Constantly, her tongue sticking out. It's an open mocking of God. Um, we'll move on now. You got your steel toes on still? You got your ready? <laughs> Step on something here. Um, we're deceived by our news. Yeah. I want you yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got red versus blue. Yeah. If, if you've got anyone trying to come together, if people are trying to come together under the word of the Lord, if people are trying to come together under the word of Jesus, mm-hmm. what's the best thing to do? You split them apart. Absolutely. So you can yeah. find common ground here, 
let's find find ground to split us apart over here. Right. So we've got red versus blue. We've got Republican versus Democrat. Yeah. Republicans think Democrats are morons. Democrats think Republicans are morons. It's a constant fight. It's a battle. Yeah. Right. Then no one's going to win. It's two sides of the same coin. Our yeah. government is is two sides. It's they're all politicians. Yep. That's they're all right. getting rich. Absolutely. From the same groups Absolutely. that are paying the Democrats that are paying the Republicans. Absolutely. Our hope is not in the government. Our yeah, hope amen. is in Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Amen. 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 I read somewhere that there are approximately six companies that put out 90% of all of the news content in the world. It's all coming from the same spot. They're telling us a script. It's a narrative. They want our country divided. Absolutely. They don't want us to reach out to God. Absolutely. They don't want us to gather under the cross. Right. Absolutely. Um, part of that narrative is it's all broadcast on this black box we got. It's called the tell a vision. Yeah. They're telling us our vision. Yeah. They're telling us what they want us to know. Yeah. The information that is put out there as news on one side or fake news on the other side it's all being given on purpose. Absolutely. It is to keep us divided. Right. Yes. Amen. To divide as a country. Yep. We were founded under God. We're not moving under God now. We're moving to different sides, right. different aisles. Yep. Um, we get bombarded with racism. We get bombarded with um, different nationalities. People wanting to fight each other. And that happens. But it's all <laughs> propagated through the media. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. Move on to how Satan is attacking our youth. It hurts my soul to think and see the things that are out there that our youth have to deal with. Yeah. We're our, our children are being taught right now that their way to be successful in life is to be able to YouTube. And to be an influencer. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You're going to become a millionaire acting like an idiot. Pretty much. That's their future. That's what they see. We have video games out where we murder people and then we do a dance. It's cool. We floss. We got everyone flossing everywhere. We floss in the game because you just murdered someone. We just killed someone. In Ephesians, Chapter 5, verse 4, the book tells us, Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving thanks. These are the things that should be coming from us. We should be trying to help other people. Yeah, we should be right. trying to show the love of God. That's we, right. we shouldn't be trying to flex on people. We shouldn't be making fun of people because they don't have the right tennis shoes. The right brand of clothes. Right. Right. And it's been around for generations. I know this and I understand it. But it's just the constant attempt to divide and to separate us from our children. To separate us from your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, whoever may be coming down the line. God wants everyone to be glued to one of these, doing whatever they want to do. Um, TikTok, Snapchat. Their goal is to separate children from parents. Absolutely. Their goal is to spend hours on one of these doing this. Mm -hmm. Day and night. Yes. We've got apps where things can be sent that disappear. Why would that be needed? Why should we need apps where we can send stuff and it's gone? <laughs> it's to hide. We're trying to hide. Yeah. We, to hide evil... For Satan to influence yeah, whatever he absolutely. wants to come through. Yeah. Whatever it is, it can come in and then it's gone. It's not there anymore. Um, you know, old man, our video games these days. Now, back in my day, we went, we had Mario, and we'd throw fireballs at a plant and we'd kill it. And then <laughs> eventually a giant lizard we'd kill. Yeah. And the games had an ending. Yeah, yeah that's when right. you got to eight point four in Mario, and you beat Bowser, you won. Yeah. Right, Adam? That's, right. that's it. I've heard that's what happens. I've been done it a few times, but <laughs> there there was an ending. The games that are out now, they have no end. Yeah. 
You, it's a, a goal to devote hours of your life mm -hmm. to fighting a mission that never ends. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when you accomplish something, there's still more. And then there's still more. Yep, that's and right. There's still more. And you wonder why you hear about kids, teenagers, staying up all night playing video games. They can't reach finality. There's no end in sight. It's all to keep you focused away from God. Absolutely. Keep us away from our Creator. Yeah. If we're looking at a creation by man on a screen, we're not focused on our Creator. Absolutely. We're focused on another Creator. And it's Satan. Absolutely. I call it what it is. Yes. Amen. So now we get back with the fun stuff. Back in Romans, uh, where we talked about the men leaving the natural use of the women and the women doing the same. Um, satanic symbol, they call it the Baphomet. If anyone knows what the Baphomet is, it's this weird goat head looking thing. And you've seen it on, um, uh, what is it, the, the Freemasons and the Order of the Eastern Star, the five pointed yeah. thing, the goat, and it's one pointed down. Two coming out. That symbol for that thing is both male and female. It's got both reproductive organs. Yeah. Um, as Tim pointed out this morning, when God created man and woman, he saw it was good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Satan wants to take everything that's good Absolutely. and destroy it. Yeah. He Amen. wants to take it away from us. Absolutely. He does not want us to have anything good. He may give us the pull the wool over our eyes and think if you've got millions of dollars and you're doing all these things, that you're living a good life, that you're doing what's right, whatever he's pushing is opposite of what this is telling you. That's the truth. Yeah. So we've got these symbolic symbols, the Baphomet. Both male and female. God didn't create us as both male and female. He created them male and female. Absolutely. We've yes. got this thing that's both. So if we've got this thing that's both, it doesn't matter what kind of clothes they wear. It doesn't matter if a boy dresses up like a girl or if a girl dresses up like a boy because Satan wants us to think that we're all one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Satan knows that if a man does what he's supposed to, what God has created us to be, yeah. strong, <coughs> care of your family, Absolutely. things yeah. like that, yeah. women, caring, Nurturing, also caring for the family, yes. but it's yeah. a different role. That if we right. can take those two, it yep. fits together to where one yep. and two become one. Right. And they're successful together. Amen. They're able to operate together. Amen. Now we've got this movement for boss women and weak males, yep. and it's leading to a downfall of our society. Yeah, that's yes. a fact. We are not made to operate that way. That is a yep. fact. Men yes. are men, women are women, Amen. and we work Amen. together. Amen. Amen. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Bless you, brother. Yes. Doing good, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. So in verse back in verse 3. Um, the disciples have asked him to tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceives you. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We are being deceived. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this very day, we are being Absolutely. deceived. Absolutely, yes. Christians are being deceived. Non-Christians are being deceived. The world is full of deception right yeah. now. Yeah. Amen. Jesus Amen. tells us that in the end times, that's what's going to come. Yeah, absolutely. We'll go back to some of our uh, music, pop culture, um, uh, influencers. So, as a whole... Many Christians 
become so excited when a secular singer mentions Jesus. Here's where my boots got stepped on. Kanye West, I was deceived. <laughs> he came out, his album, Jesus is King. Looking back, we're singing about being happy that a store is closed on Sunday. What does that have to do with Jesus? <laughs> Let's get real here. Um, Kanye has deceived millions of people. He has said many times that he has sold his soul to the devil. And he got a happy meal in return. Um, we've got to judge. We've got to judge by their fruits. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. The people that we are tied into. That's right. The influences that we have over us. We've got to judge by their fruits. That's right. Kanye got me. He's out singing with Marilyn Manson now. Known satanic yeah. person. Yeah. yeah. Doing yes. satanic rituals on TV. On their shows. I was deceived. <laughs> this summer, we hear about um, the rapper Eminem. He was number one on the Christian music charts this summer because he did a remake of uh, the Kanye song. Um, I, I can't remember which one it was. He re-sang lyrics from that song that deceived me. And now the same song is deceiving people two summers later. Number one on Christian music is Eminem. We have got to look at where we are getting our influence from. Amen. Amen. Our influence has to come from the Lord. Amen. 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 In Matthew chapter 4, we hear about Jesus himself being tempted by Satan. Right. Mm -hmm. We can't think that we are not going to also be tempted. Right. Absolutely. Um, here are a couple others. Um, we move into some of the some contemporary Christian music. Whenever things move from ministry to industry, we've got to be on our toes. We've got to watch and know what's going on. We've yeah. got to know what we're putting into our bodies. Back in the year 2020, uh, Zach Williams and Dolly Parton sang a song called There Was Jesus. Mm -hmm. At that same exact moment in time, Dolly Parton was talking about how excited she was because it had been 40 years since she was in Playboy and she was going to be in it again. Folks reaching out, hearing a song, um, there was Jesus. If they Google Dolly Parton at that point in time in history, they're either going to get her and Zach Williams <laughs> talking about Jesus or they're going to get her talking about wanting to be in Playboy again. We got to see where it comes from. Yeah, amen. Um, another song by uh, Chris Tomlin spends a lot of time with Joyce Myers, who is <coughs> just has sketchy teaching at best. Thank you, Lord. Has the um, can't remember if it was just Florida or just Georgia line, but Florida and Georgia line all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're fruits. Those guys are still out singing about getting drunk, getting with girls. And, and, and that's what we're buying into as Christians. I'm sure that song was number one on the hits list too. Mm -hmm. we've, we've got to know what's coming into our head. That's true. Mm -hmm. And then one more, and I think the devil probably laughs at this a bunch, and this one's got me too. I like their music. We have a popular group called Cain, the first murderer in the Bible. And that's our Christian music. I like their music. I, I, I don't know. It just seems like that one might be one where the devil's saying, I can get these people to listen to anything. We're going to name them Cain. Oh, but that's their last name. That's their last name. Every band doesn't go by their last name. Yeah. Things can be done. They can change. Yeah. Amen. All right. We take our boots off now.
I'm done stepping on There you go. <laughs> now we've got the blessed hope of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes, that's right. God, he calls us to have a metanoia, a turning away, to repent. Yeah. It's not a work. Jesus paid the full price. He took care Absolutely. of all of it. Absolutely, yes. Not of works, yes. lest any man should boast. Yes. That's right. Our turning away doesn't save us. Right. Puts us down the path, gets us in a direction where we're able to be in a relationship with our Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Right. Yeah. Um, as we turn to Jesus, again, it's through faith, Amen. nothing else. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. You become born again. Yes. You become a, a son of God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you decide to yeah. walk with Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yes, amen. We got two choices. If you look, are going to leave here today and you don't know which of the two you're going to take, I pray that you come and follow Jesus. Amen. Yeah. amen. That you become born again. Uh, in John 14, 6, he tells us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. No man comes right. to the Father but by me. Amen. 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 John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he sent his one and, one and only Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, Amen. but have everlasting life. Yeah. That's right. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 through 4, yeah. our salvation is outlined clearly there through the death, burial, <laughs> and resurrection yes, that's right. of our Lord yes. and Savior, yes. Amen. Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. Um, Titus 2.13, we're looking for our blessed hope yes. in the returning of our Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. He's coming back in the clouds for us, and it's yes. going to be soon. Absolutely. Yes. yes. I came across a few things the other day. I'm going to read to you. Um, the Psalm 83 award seems to be on the cusp. Everyone is going to be looking to go against Israel. Right. Iran Absolutely. Is yes. ramping things up. Right. Yeah, that's right. We've got, they're already warning us right now about global food shortages. Mm -hmm. It's all described in the end times. Mm -hmm. um, there's a thing called the Abrahamic House, which yeah. is going to be open in April, May of 2023, which is a spot where Muslims, Islam, people of Islam, yep. Jews, Christians, they're all going to worship in Jerusalem. Together in one spot. What does that sound like? <laughs> one world order. Yep. It's going to be where the Antichrist is. Absolutely. Yep. Um, they're telling us to be ready for a global stock market crash. Yep. They're ramping up to one world currency. Yes, it's absolutely. a one world order that's coming at us. Absol yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, you're right. Um, the Temple Institute has confirmed that, I'll back up a step, there are five red heifers. They're yeah, kosher. They're without blemish. Yeah. Not a single hair on them is not red. Mm -hmm. They came from Texas this summer. They're in Jerusalem right now. All five of the red heifers imported from the U.S. remain kosher. This, remain, rem, this means that if the oldest remains so, in only eight to nine months, she can be offered as a sacrifice on the Mount of Olives and burnt to ashes to sanctify the third temple. Mm -hmm. Folks, it's coming. Absolutely yeah. it is. We have to be ready. Yeah. Yes, amen. amen. If someone in your house is not ready, if you have not accepted the Lord Jesus, your time is now. Yeah. We may not have tomorrow. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Um, are you able to do the songs from this morning? Um, praise the Father. Yes. So in this song, there's a line where it says that Jesus did not forsake the cross. I think it was Tim this morning said that it wasn't the nails that held him on the cross. It was his love. And deeper than that, it was his desire to please the Father and to follow the Father's will. Yes. Amen. He stayed up there on his own accord. He didn't want to. But he did it for us. Amen. He did it for you. Amen. He did it for you. Absolutely. Yes. It's, a, it's a free gift that came with such a huge cost. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The torture that our Savior went through, the beatings, he did it all for you. Amen. Yeah. If you're listening, 
and you need to come to Jesus, now's your time. Amen. Follow the Lord.